Hello everyone. Yeah, basically this video is just a quick guide on how you can make your own solder braid. I've actually showed this in one of my other longer videos. Um, but yeah, a lot of people have sort of asked about it and said how great it was. So I just thought I'd give it its own little video. So uh, yeah, people will just choose to watch this one if uh, if they need. So basically, yeah, what I've got, basically you can make your own solder braid or solder wick, as some people know it. Basically out of uh, sort of general earth wire. Um, yeah, basically got different sort of thicknesses or different strands in there. So if you if you've got any uh, sort of old earth wire with sort of quite thin copper strands inside, it makes amazing solder braid. So if you ever sort of find yourself in a position like this where your sort of solder braid reel is empty and you've actually got some of this laying around, this stuff makes amazing braid. It's as good as the real thing. I'll sort of do you a few demos after after this chat and uh, sort of show you how to make it. And uh, yeah, it really works well. So like I say, it get you out of trouble at times. It's got me out of trouble. So what I do, I get straight on with sort of showing you how we make it. And then uh, so I do a few videos after that of showing you how well it works. So I move on to the making stage now. Right, I'll quickly show you how you can now turn your sort of earth eye into your amazing braid. So all you do, for, this, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to strip a couple of inches of... Uh, sleeving off just to sort of prepare a small amount of braid but you can always sort of prepare as much as you want of this stuff what you want to do is pull the sleeving off with the last piece i tend to leave it just on the ends of the inner sort of inner strands like so and i can just twist that quite tight it's quite important for, for doing this braid and basically just get some flat nose pliers just squeeze it along the whole length it should start taking shape to uh, what your braid would look like originally. So it's nice and flat. So I'll just trim the end of, uh, just get that nice and straight. Just trim the end off of that and get rid of the last piece of sleeving. So as you can see, I've got a nice sort of thickness on the braid there. Just zoom in on that. And then, so, so yes, so you should end up with a nice sort of flatness like that. Strands nice and tightly twisted, sort of thickness about that, so it's similar to sort of, yeah, generally similar to, sort of to normal braid, and that's what it's going to look like. So, yeah, basically, strip it, twist it tight, flatten it with flat nose pliers, you should end up with it looking like this. So, what I'm going to do, we're going to move on to a few demonstrations and put this into action, and I'll sort of show you how well it really can work. So, move on to them demonstrations now. Right, so move on to the first example. As you can see, I've got a short one, pins five and six of this IC. So what I've done, I've just put a tiny bit of flux on the end of the homemade braid. We're going to go straight in, just wick that off. So it come off really nice, goes straight up the braid. And it works just as well as normal stuff. I'm just going to take that in so you can see that this is actually the same braid. So there you go, let's just wick that off really nice. And uh, yeah, that's an example of... Uh, how it can work so if you add some flux to your braid it goes straight up it with a lot more ease so yeah i'll put a few more examples up and uh yeah and hopefully you'll sort of see the how good this braid can be right so moving on from the ic short i've just removed to come to this blocked hole so again i've got my homemade braid i've dipped it into some flux again to aid the solder even if this proper braid i still dip it into flux and so you should see the solder go straight up the braid and nicely clear that hole there you go, it's nice and clear. So I'm just going to pull that over so you can see it's the homemade stuff again. I'm not, not, sort of not cheating the test and uh, yeah, that's how great it can be. So I'm just going to sort of do a, a really large hole now with a sort of slightly bigger earth braid. Same again and uh, I'll show you a method of clearing that. Coming to this large hole in the middle of the screen now, as you can see below it, I've got some general sort of connector holes. So you can see how large the, the one in the middle of your screen is. So if I get a hole like this, what I tend to do... So I've got my homemade braid, I'll just bring the sleeving over, so you can see uh, it's the homemade stuff. So what I do, because the braid's only got a certain wicking distance, you can only take so much before it gets sort of filled up and you have to sort of trim it off and start with fresh stuff. If you sort of uh, add it sort of like this, you, the solder will travel both ways, so you can get sort of twice as much wicked up at one time. So again, I've sort of, yeah, so I've added some flux to, uh, to the braid. I've got a different size tip on it this time. So yeah, basically the solder's gone both ways, and that should, yeah, you go, it's pulled it off nicely in one go, cleared that hole out nicely. 
and that's uh, yeah, that's how effective this homemade stuff can be. So like I say, if you get a giant hole, put the brake sort of slightly uh, sort of off both sides, and it wick up twice the amount. So hopefully, yeah, anyway, hopefully them three methods have sort of showed you how good this braid can be. So if you've got any sort of a spare earth wire laying around and you want to run out of your sort of braid, um, yeah, turn it into a sort of homemade stuff and uh, should get you out of trouble. So anyway, thanks for watching this short video and I'll be back soon with uh, yeah, more normal length videos with uh, some more soldering tips. So until next time, thanks a lot and uh, I'll see you soon.